Welcome! Let's learn how to style components. We have here a Heroes component, which is a configurable component that can be configured using the Hero element, which is implemented with a directive. The Hero directive receives a Marvel property, and we are going to style the Hero differently according to this property. Let's start styling superhero rows. If we are adding only one style, we can use the plain input property syntax to write to the style DOM property. So in this case, let's write style.color equals red as a quoted string. So remember, we are simply writing to the style DOM property of the DOM element corresponding to the table row. This is a valid approach if we are changing only one style, but an alternative is also to use the ng-style directive. With it, we can pass it an object whose keys are the CSS styles that we want to modify and whose values are the value of the corresponding style. Here we are passing it a string constant, but this could be any JavaScript expression. ng-style also takes any JavaScript expression, so we can use it to retrieve a variable from the controller containing an object with our styles. Let's make styles a calculated property and implement it with a getter. The object containing the styles can contain any number of styles. Let's go over ng-class. We are going to apply the Marvel CSS class to all Marvel heroes and we are going to apply the Hulk class, well, to the Hulk. First, notice that we can still use the input property syntax to add a single class. So in this case, we're going to add the Marvel class if the hero has the Marvel flag set to true. As we can see, the Marvel class has been applied correctly. Let's now use the ng class directive by passing it in a object literal. The keys of the literal are the CSS classes that we want to add or remove to the element and the values are JavaScript expressions that should return a boolean. If true, the class will be added to the element. Besides an object literal, we can pass into ng-class any JavaScript expression as long as it returns an object. Let's refactor this and call a classes controller method that will return an object with the classes that we want to add or remove. Like in the case of ng-style, we can have here any number of classes. 